I will make a start and see if anybody else joins us. Um, it was very interesting listening to the NHS Accelerator team um, talking about the requirement for clinical engagement, making sure that clinicians are involved in uh, the process and developing uh, these innovations. My name's Dan Johnston, I'm a clinical advisor with Improvata. Um, I mean, I'm, I continue to be uh, clinical in emergency care and I come from our operations research and service improvement background in uh, the NHS and internationally as well. Um, I'm going to talk about identity management and access solutions. I'll obviously be referencing Improvata solutions within this context. Um, if I can get the gizmo to work. Um, it was interesting listening to the previous session because it was all about establishing trust. How do we develop technology that is clinically relevant that actually establishes trust? Um, and a lot of that trust is associated with identity management and access management. Identity, digital identity and access management. We're increasingly aware of how relevant digital identity is with being online uh, and also what it entails when it doesn't go well. And we obviously need the uh, security that comes inherently with healthcare, but we also need that security to provide rapid access to clinical data. Um, and understanding how these solutions actually talk to our electronic healthcare records. We're in a world, there's a revolution of digital technology taking place with electronic medical record systems and also the various solutions like we just heard from the gentleman with Nerve Center that are taking place and how do we make this interoperable? How do we engage with the current challenges that are not only going on in healthcare, but uniquely going on within the NHS? And that might be in with regards to uh, adoption. It will also be related to interoperability. How do we make sure that all this data that we're collecting is not only identifiable and trackable, but also accessible? And in relation to that, when we say accessible, we're actually saying accessible to clinicians for the purpose of providing patient care, making sure it's scalable, making sure it's dependable and we know where it's coming from, this information, and also making sure it's secure. And with that comes compliance. And we're looking to develop solutions that engage with this adoption interoperable challenge and placing the clinician and the patient in the heart of that, and how do we develop technology to service those needs. It's a very exciting time. It's a very agile time. Um, we're dealing with a requirement and even the insight of what it means to have ubiquitous access. In our personal lives, whether it's banking or whether it's shopping, we just want to have access. We just want to have access to our credit cards. What does that mean when you're undertaking transactions in healthcare? What does it mean to access data that's actually present within the cloud? And also there's a whole wealth of information that's taking place within our hospitals in relation to location services. Where are there people? Where are there are devices? And how can we optimize these resources to engage with the needs of our patients? And understanding all of those relationships actually has a clinical outcome, of which I have the joy of being able to actually investigate and try and quantify in a very complex and challenging time. The solutions that Improvata has all speak to that idea of developing trackable, auditable, uh, and spontaneous accessibility to information. Improvata is primarily or historically known from a single sign-on solution but is now burgeoned into multiple forms of authentication, rapid access to clinical applications with its Improvata One sign, but has also developed and seen the requirements for interactive authentication. We're dealing with EMR systems that need med witnessing processes that require signing of authentications of correct patients in operating theaters. We're requiring uh, other steps that require stocks and supplies to be accounted for, by which we enter credentials and authentications. 
And this takes up a considerable amount of time, of clinical time, time that could be best served looking after patients. So we've developed a, a solution called Confirm ID. We've also developed a provisioning service for doctors and nurses and other allied healthcare professionals whereby we can manage the governance and compliance related to those needs of being able to rapidly access and manage uh, the use of clinical applications. And then another use case that's very interesting is patient secure, whereby we have the ability to use the biometric print in your palm to be able to rapidly identify a patient and relate that to an electronic healthcare record. Unfortunately, there are never events that take place with identifying patients, and they are happening at an increasing rate, particularly with digitization. So how do we overcome these increasing challenges within healthcare? It's not available in this country or within Europe because of the GDPR challenge, but there's also Cortex as well, which we provide a messaging service, which we're constantly understanding how could that support NHS care. So what we're really engaged with is doing that balance of security and efficiency and making sure that it can actually be helpful with clinical outcomes related to saving time supporting patient safety, compliance, and patient experience. And along with that, of which I spend an awful lot of time, is what difference does this make to the patient? What difference does it make to the clinician? And just to make this a little bit more real, is historically we've been engaged, or Improvata's technology has been engaged in dealing with technology and communications within the four walls of a hospital. We all know that that's changing. We all know that the models of care, just like being highlighted in the accelerator group, is becoming multi very variable. Uh, we're, we're looking after patients at home. We're using healthcare, uh, alternative healthcare centers. And with that is coming a whole complexity of different healthcare professionals that all have to enter notes into an EMR system, all need to undertake referrals. And they're all utilizing a range of devices, whether they're handhelds, electronic healthcare records, uh, mobile med devices, and they all need to speak to each other. And we all need it to be dependable and trustable and trackable. Who put that blood pressure in? What can we ask that person to account for? What treatment was given? And that can only be done if we can rapidly authenticate with whom used what, where, and when. So it's about trying to create transparency and utilizing this technology for what we can actually achieve with this technology of joining people and technology and information up. And it kind of talks to that whole emphasis and idea of trust. And we're all achieving that through positive identity, ubiquitous access, and multi-factor authentication. But trying to do that in a streamlined way. So just to kind of try and make it a bit more real, rather than kind of tech this and tech the other, is really just kind of pick out a few examples of what we're actually engaged in streamlining. So we're looking at kind of med prescribing, nurses using mobiles in order to input uh, observations or signing off medications. We're looking at access to mobile devices or working from home or providing consults remotely from one institution to another institution. All very real working examples that are present throughout our healthcare system now. The only thing is they're usually laden with complexity and also clinicians are being asked to do it more and more these days. So just as a working example, you've got a doctor who's accessing an EMR via a VDI session from a shared workstation to prescribe a medication. So the, in this instance, we have a doctor using their one sign with a badge tap. They go up to a, a shared workstation, and within seconds, or less than a few seconds, they'll be into their workstation. And all their electronic healthcare record system will be automatically launched. They'll be into a healthcare record system. And if they have patient secure, they'll have verified a patient using their biometric print. So they know that this record matches that patient. Then the doctor from the location where they're at can then undertake the prescription and then they can authenticate through confirm ID through a token that comes to their phone and be able to verify that. 
And through that means, a doctor has able, been able to remotely prescribe, uh, uh, prescribe uh, a medication considerably faster than what they had been able to prior accomplish uh, with existing infrastructure. And then they'd be able to lock their device by the badge tap. So it's something that is, um, it sounds very simple, challenging to accomplish, um, but can achieve, can save a considerable amount of time when you look at how long it takes to verify yourself to a, a computer, uh, to a healthcare record system, to a patient, to a prescription, to then verifying that you are that person signing that prescription. To take another example, our nurse accesses and spot checks vital signs and is wanting to have those vital signs populate an electronic healthcare record system. Through a badge tap on the side of a medical device, they're able to associate themselves with those set of signs and those vital signs will automatically populate into an electronic healthcare record system. It's auditable, it's accountable, and also it saves time. We have the technology, the only thing is the technology is challenged by lack of interoperability and actually understanding the clinical workflows. And through that, a doctor is then able to remotely badge tap into their computer and able to see those signs, see them on their mobile device and provide any additional clinical advice that's needed. And then the last example is a nurse using a shared mobile device uh, to log the ordering of a medication and a second nurse serves as a witness. All too often do we undertake this process with insulin or with morphine. And it's something that is relatively straightforward to undertake. Through access to a mobile, we're able to use a badge tap using Improvata One Sign. We're able to associate it with a record with Patient Secure. And then we're able to communicate those, those observations to a doctor who can then provide any advice that they need. And a secondary nurse can then badge tap to witness. All relatively straightforward. However, you should see the steps of what it actually looks like when you're actually doing it in reality. So hopefully, it provides you some example of what Improvata technologies can accomplish um, with understanding clinical workflow to be able to benefit patient care. So if you've got any questions, feel free. But thank you for being a captive audience.